Hey guys, before I start this video, please go to the link in the description for my Twitch channel. Hit the sub button. Also hit the notification button so you guys know when I go live, and I would appreciate it. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Easy TV bringing you guys another division video. Today I'm bringing you guys another hybrid build. Uh, I said I was going to do a lot of hybrid builds for 1.8. I'm trying to get away from the six-piece uh, classifieds that everybody is doing. I'm trying to spice it up a little bit and bring y'all some different kind of builds. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, I just dropped a Nomad um, hybrid build. I think it was a Nomad Banshee. You guys can check that video out. I will have the link in the description. But let's get straight into the build. So, of course, I told you guys I was going to find out a way to do a heavy hit and flame turret build. And to be honest with you guys, it's the same build that I had for 1.7 for the ones who actually saw the video. It's my Lucifer's turret build. This is my original Lucifer's turret build, but it is optimized for 1.7. Um, I tried the six piece classified. Um, Firecrest with the electronics. I couldn't even get the flame turret damage to 20k. Alright. With this build, I sit at 21k damage. With with everything propped, I sit at like 24 or 25k. This is an all-around build. You can use this for DZ, PvE, uh legendary missions. Whatever, resistance, everything. I actually love this build and I'm going to keep this build on me probably at all times. Um, I like the versatility of this build with the Bear's chest piece and Inventor backpack better than the six piece classified. But I'm going to go straight into the build. I hope you guys enjoy. So, of course, I'm running the Navy MP5. It has talented. You need talented for these type of builds. Competent and responsive. Um, I think that's a good combination to run. You'll always have competent when you pop a skill and then you'll always have responsive. You'll have responsive unlocked. All right. You can put deadly at the bottom. I like responsive. You can put whatever you want to at the bottom. Uh, you guys can run a tense if you want to. All right. But uh, here's my mods for that. Oops. I'm sorry. That's my urban MDR. Here's my mods for that. And then, of course, I'm running the urban MDR. I have intents on that as well. Unforgiven, I cannot use uh, and distract it. And then you here's the mods for that one as well. And I actually like this gun. I actually like this gun in PVE. I don't like it in PVP too much, but I actually like it in PVE because it actually shreds NPCs when they're on fire with that turret. Of course, I'm running a bearish chest piece. It's rolled for electronics. This is, this is an electronic build. Uh, this is not survivor. Uh, this is not really a survivability build. You can survive. Um, it's just a certain way that you have to play. This is for crowd control team play. You always have to be with a team. You cannot be caught lacking with this build by yourself with an electronic build, or you will get killed. You don't have enough health to even keep you alive because you're throwing everything into electronics. But this is great for team play. So, like I said, a bearish chest piece roll for electronics. It has 16,000 health, 9% skill haste, and increased uh, kill XP. I want, I would want that to be uh, ammo capacity. And that also, that has two electronic mods with skill power. And then I have a classified, um, classified firecrest chest uh, mask. Roll for electronics has skill power, blind death resistance. You can have whatever you want to on that one. Um, and that also has a electronics mod with skill power. Now, the thing about these, um, a lot of people get confused or whatever when they run a ninja backpack with these classified pieces. Just to clear the air, you can run up to four pieces of classified um, with the ninja bike messenger backpack. Once it gets to five and six, you cannot uh, use it. So for the ones that was in the comments saying that a ninja backpack doesn't work for classified, it actually does. It only works up to a four piece. All right. Um, I've tried. A, I've even tried a ninja backpack hybrid and stuff like I it just it don't work for me. I like this build way better. 
All right, so a fire crest class of five knee pads, roll for electronics, 13,000 skill power, burn resistance, damage to elite, and disrupt your resistance. Most of the stuff that you want to have on here, if you're going to do PVE, you want to have damage to elites and you want to have enemy armor damage. All right, I wish I could, I wish I could have headed to where I had way more enemy armor damage because it actually shreds off damage on NPCs fast. But you will want a lot of enemy armor damage for this build. And that also has a uh, electronic uh, electronic mod with skill power, four percent turret damage. And then I'm running an inventive backpack for the people who don't know what an inventive backpack is. Is increased skill power by fifteen percent while at full health. Um, it's actually pretty good. All right. So if you drop your flame turrets and all that stuff before you you know get shot or anything, that fifteen percent stays propped. All right. Also, I'm running is uh, electronics uh, inventive backpack. And it has skill power on it and burn resistant that also has an electronics mod with two turret damage mods and then my fire crest gloves um classified i rolled those for electronics that has smg critical hit damage and enemy armor damage i didn't go with critical hit chains because i wanted enemy armor damage just to you know shred more off of players and npcs uh but you guys can go for whatever you want to with these gloves and then a classified firecrest chest piece, uh, not chest piece, a uh, holster. Um, it's a little bit on the low end for stamina, but that also has health on it. If you don't want health, you can go with more skill haste to get your skills back quicker. And that has a turret damage mod, a 4% turret damage mod on there as well. Um, before I get into the other stuff, I'm going to tell you two ways what, what happens to this build, all right? So first off, with the Barrett's chest piece, if you have no skills on cooldown, your skill power is increased by 10%. All right. Now, let's say you pop a booster shot before you put down a flame turret, right? With this build, you're going to automatically sit. It sit at 21K, almost 22K. If you pop a skill before you drop a flame turret, your your skill, uh, your skill turret is going to hit for 20K. So it goes down, it goes, it goes down a thousand. Also, if you don't pop a skill and let's say you get shot and you're not at full health, for the events of backpack to kick in to keep with the 15%, you're also going to be sitting at a uh sitting at 20 uh k damage, so you don't go down that much. Now, what both of them use, let's say you you lose health and you have a skill on cooldown, you're going to hit for 19k, which is not that bad, but you would still want it to be as heavy hitting as much as possible. But when you got good heals and overheal and stuff like that, do you? This thing heals up teammates from almost dying black bar to like a full bar health, including yourself. You can be a black bar and you will have a full thing of health and an overheal. So that shouldn't be a problem. But I'm just giving clearing that in the air so you guys can understand how, um, you know, both pieces affect this this gear set. All right. So I'm going to go into um, my abilities. Um, this is some stuff from that I was running <clears throat> and resistance so look my my overheal um let me go back out my overheal gives uh it's almost at 400k self uh heal and then almost uh it's at 200 plus k for ally heal the turret is at 21 3 uh 21 393 all right which is already heavy hitting by itself that's what nothing propped okay Nothing is proc and it sits at 21k. And then I run for the talent. I run um I run triage. I run uh critical save. I run wildfire and I run on the move. Uh also so you can you know get that um you can get that um that extra tankiness to when you kill a player, uh you will have that proc as well. Uh, you can run whatever you want to, but out of everything, you will want wildfire. Out of everything, you will want wildfire. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry. I don't run triage on this. I run death by proxy. So it's death by proxy, wildfire, critical save, and uh, on the move. All right. So death by proxy, destroy a hostile's deploy skill to increase skill power by 20% for 30 seconds. Uh, I actually did this. Uh, I did a demonstration in the DZ with this build. And when I when I have talented proc and I think uh, I think um, 
death by proxy uh pop i think it goes up to 25k damage that's the highest i can get it it's 25k damage it actually shreds i will have dz demonstration gameplay after i had my boy xlp shadow to help me out with the demonstration to show you guys how hard it hit for uh an out in the open world i actually hit um it's weaker in last stand for some reason because i think the electronics dropped and stuff like that so it's actually weaker in last stand but i was actually killing in last stand with this build but this build is good for the dz i'm going to show you the gameplay that i'm going to show you guys you're going to see how heavy this build hits all right so i will run i will run those four you can run whatever four you want to but i will run those four and then i think uh i think that's a really about it with that um like i said uh if you guys have any different hybrids that you want me to think of somebody um i think somebody recently said something about a final measure um a final measure uh edr hybrid bill i think i'm gonna do a final measure uh banshee bill for you guys for to see if know how good we can fight off predators mark which is really a big problem in the community right now for people but i'm going to try that out but stick around for the um the dz um demonstration gameplay um if you guys want to see this build in action when you see this video just hit that like button hit the sub button and hit the notification button i will stream with this build i'll be streaming tomorrow which is where well, I'll be streaming today, which is February 15th with this build. So if you guys see this video, just know the log, um, tune into the stream, but I hope you guys are pre, uh, I hope you guys like the actual video and the build that I made for you guys. But like I said, it's my Lucifer's turret build 1.8 optimized, but I am out of here and y'all have a good one. Everything probably you going to shoot me. Morning. Your division affiliation has been disavowed. You are now marked as rogue. There we go. Now we're straight. There we go. Oh, he said that was final measure with 68% EDR. Oh, okay. There we go. Now that's just with 21K. That's just standing. You said that was your 4K stand, Pred? Yeah. I can tell. I can tell from how fast you went down. But as a matter of fact, people that be running 6K stam on builds, it do that same type of shit right there. Like, it, it actually shreds. All right, bring out, um, just bring, bring your, uh, bring, bring your, I guess bring your whatever you got back on out so I can do this, uh, so I can do this, um, death by proxy. So do the death by proc, uh, uh, get an immunizer box. I'm gonna go rogue, I'm gonna blow it up. And then we are gonna see how hard it hit. I'm gonna see how hard it hits you and then I'm gonna turn around and see how much I'm actually hitting for. And then we are gonna do a double stack. We are gonna do, um, we gonna do death by proxy and then we gonna do, uh, we gonna activate talented as well. Come on Shadow, I ain't got time to join parties, man. Come on. trying to go come on where your box all right warning this is not the division this actually will mark you as rogue so it's hitting at 23 right now and he's cooked that's at that's at 23k so now I'm a I'm a proc, I'm a proc, death by proxy, and uh, talented at the same time, and then we gonna see what we get. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to blow up his box first, and then I'm gonna have to kill him. He said it's a 20 second delay. Just bring your ass outside, man. All right, so now, Shadow, all I want you to do is stand next to your box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow. I'm going to throw a grenade on your box. Come back this way. I'm tired of these fucking NPCs. 
I'm gonna throw a grenade on your box, on you. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. Come back this way. Oh, shadow! Get over here. Kill them dudes! Shadow, man, you well, just fucking. No, this build ain't tanky. This build, bro, any type of high electronic shredding, um, uh, uh, shredding fucking, uh, what's the call the build? It'll never be tanky, bro. Never be tanky. Because you put, you, you sacrificing so much into electronics. It'll never be tanky. Yeah, we're not almost, we're almost. With almost 10,000, look at that. With almost 10,000 electronics, no way. No fucking way, bro. Let me, let me get a party with Shadow real quick. With these type of bills, though, people got to understand. This is for crowd control, PVE, and this is for team play. You do not need to be off by yourself with this build. Now, I play a little differently. I can be off by myself with this build. I run people around, let them go into the flame turn and fight them. And if I feel I'm going to die, then I heal and run around some more. A lot of people can't do that. I did. I shot his box. I shot his box and I went and looked at how much it was hitting for and it was hitting at 23. Now I'm trying to see how much. You said squishy, not tanky. I for I for a reclaimer build 10K electron exactly at a actually crowd control. Reclaimer is good too. Are you ready, bro? Uh drop your box. Right, and then stand next to your box. I'm gonna go roll because what I want to do is I want to blow up your box and kill you immediately to get talented proc and death by proxy so they can see the numbers. Hey, you're right, Tez. Tez, I was killing people down a narrow hallway, bro. Badly, I was catching people down the hallway, they couldn't do nothing. Yeah, you ready? Disavowed a division and unlocked its robe. So it's at 23. So it's around 23, 24K. Join me so I can pick you up. Damn. So I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna blow up your box one more time and then put this shit down. Then we can actually uh, fight if you want to. I already know this shit about to get lit the fuck up. This is a fucking crowd control PVE fucking flame turret build. I don't think flame turret builds is good for fucking 1.8 anyways, y'all. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. They good for like PVE. I don't think they good because if you run into somebody with EDR or something like that, high toughness, it ain't, shit ain't about nothing. Oh, I'm still rolling. All right. That shit cooks. 
Man, that shit cooked the hell out your ass. How long did that take? You want to count? Hell yeah. How high you think this motherfucker supposed to hit? Motherfuckers be shit. I'm hitting for 30k, man. Motherfuckers ain't hitting no damn 30k. This build is actually more effective in 1.7 because the toughness and shit was way lower. You can get killed way quicker. He said talent and procs to, to when you destroyed his box. Oh, really? Talent and procs when I talent and procs when I destroy his box. All right, bet. So it's hitting for like 24k overall. Okay. What the hell? I'm fighting that. That's what I'm fighting. Oh, where you where you at? Put the shield back on. It's almost back. He said he want to do it. See what it do to his shield. Now, mind y'all, this is just a flame turret. This ain't on top of responsive, competent, and the stuff that I got on this gun. So you just imagine shooting on top of this. All right, here I go. Shield, y'all. That shield got a lot of, a lot of fucking. Uh, what's it called? Look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Man, get these punk ass NPCs. These damn things get on my nerves. Top of something and just get into a fight where it was a lot of crowd. Of people. Please report any suspicious behavior you see to a last man battalion soldier. Help us keep you safe. All right, put that shield down. We're gonna do this one more time, but then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this because I gotta run to the store anyway. Oh, that's a 9k stand bill right there. All right, so he said it's this a 9k stand, so we. So we finna see what a 9k stam do. All right, uh, you got a box? So I can get out the strength that I need. This is a 9k stam build. It's not bad. That's a 9k stam, that's it. That's a, that's a 9k stam, look how fast he went down. That's a 9K stand build, bro. 9K stand um, flame turret build. I mean, not flame turret, uh, defense build. How long you gonna be on? Let's get a, uh, let's get a quick little fight in real quick with our flame turret. Uh, whatever which one you want to bring out. I already know that prey ain't gonna be something vicious. <laughs> it don't matter. We finna get a quick little 1v1 in. I already know I'm probably finna get handy. This is not a 1v1 build. Do not try this with 1v1s. Do not try this shit with 1v1s. You finna do a final measure? Don't be, man. No, don't use no final damn measure, bro. You said, so the six piece isn't worth it. This hit, I'm gonna be honest. This hits harder than the six piece. I got this to hit way harder with the, uh, than the six piece. 
Alright. Yep. I'm gonna throw the grenade, then we're gonna get to it. Yeah, bro, I got damage on this gun, bro. You can't do that. Yeah, that shit got a lot of health on it. We're gonna do one more. It's a quick little one V, you feel what I'm saying? Feel what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like, he has some pretty good builds. The thing is, bro, if you don't play smart against a flame turret build, you will be cooked. You will be cooked. All right, we're going to do this regular. Let's go. Oh, I got a location, man hunt. Come kill me for the manhunt. Y'all man see that? Y'all like that? Y'all can't tell me this build ain't dope, bro. This one of the fucking dopest flame turret builds, bro. This flame turret build is dope, bro. That flame turret hit hard. It do hit hard. Though. Hold on, don't do me like that. Now you gonna disrespect me like that? All right, come on. Yeah, 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 go ahead. That flame turret cooked, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That shit cooked, man. He just said that shit is ridiculous. This shit hit hard as hell, bro. Oh, there's some people out here? Oh shit, should I come back out with the, out there with the flame? You wanna you wanna fight against these dudes real quick? Alright, bet. Bet. Alright, we finna get a little extra extra going on. We finna see if we can kill these dudes and I'm gone. Hey, I'm gonna get this shit one try, we die, I'm gone. Cause I got I got shit I gotta go do. It was players out there. They came out there ASAP for that man. Now entering didn't. a safe area. Warning. Now leaving the safe area. Oh, they left. They left. Disavowed a division. This action will mark you as rogue. What is he hitting me with that I'm getting hit like
Hey, this, hey, they can't kill us, bro. This feels squishy as hell, too. I was supposed to be here. Ah, oh, they finally got me. I stumbled myself. <laughs> I'm on. Hey, damn, you ain't gonna survive. Warning. All right, that was. <laughs> oh man, that was funny as hell. So just imagine me running that with a team that's running a heavy hitting DPS builds. Like everybody running DPS. You won't survive that, bro.